Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Pentax K33 and Pentax K1. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Pentax K33 and the Pentax K1 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 31st of March 2021 and the 17th of February 2016. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Pentax K33. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Pentax K1. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Pentax K33 and the Pentax K1. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Pentax K33. And here are some sample photos from the Pentax K1. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Pentax K33. I recently upgraded to the K2 camera, and it has completely re-energized my passion for capturing moments. It's much better than my old K3 OG, with improved autofocus and fantastic high ISO capabilities, the dynamic range is great for landscapes and bird photography, and the viewfinder and dials make it feel like using a film camera. The only downsides are the difficulty seeing the autofocus spot and the lack of built-in GPS astro tracer. However, the phone link works well for geotagging photos. Overall, I'm excited to capture countless moments with this amazing new camera. I've been a loyal Pentax user for years, and I was thrilled when they released the new K3 Mark III. The improvements in sensor resolution, image stabilization, AF acquisition, and customization options have been impressive. The new features like touchscreen menu control and separate controls for drive mode and remote control use have also been great. While I miss the articulating screen, I still believe this camera is perfect for Pentaxians who are looking to upgrade. However, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners entering the photography world, as mirrorless systems seem to be the future. Here's what people have to say about the Pentax K1. I recently purchased the Pentax K1 and it has exceeded all of my expectations. The camera is packed with features and the customizability is truly impressive. Pairing it with the FA 77mm f1.8 limited lens has taken my photography to another level. The K1 is inspiring and drives confidence, allowing me to- I was initially intimidated by the camera's dials and buttons, but I've since learned that it's easy to use and takes great pictures. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Pentax K33 we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Pentax K1, we will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10. 